الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أيها الأحبة may Allah have mercy upon us and you الدعاء هو عبادة كما قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم the Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام said as collected in Tirmidhi that supplication is worship therefore we should supplicate often to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asking him for forgiveness asking him for guidance asking him to take away our pains asking him to increase us in good and wealth and the things that we need to make our lives easier and so that way we may worship him alone with ease so supplication ayyuhal habba since it is determined it is ibadah as the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said a dua hu ibadah that's dua or supplication is worship then that means to direct that worship to anyone besides Allah is shirk a form of polytheism that we have no right to supplicate to other than Allah regardless of whether it is uh, our sheikh our, or alam so and so or one of the righteous and pious people whether they be living or dead and even more so if they're dead they can't they can't help us because they couldn't stop their own death and they couldn't help themselves so how is it that they'll be able to help us ayola habba we have no right to direct any of our worship to anyone other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not our ancestors not even the best of mankind like the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam or Jesus alayhi salatu wasalam or any of our prophets alayhim afdal salatu wasalam nor do we have a right to worship the angels who worship Allah with perfection they are completely obedient to Allah unlike us As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran in Surah Al-Baqarah, Inni ja'ilun fil ardi khalifa, qalu ataj'alu fiha may yufsidu fiha wa yasfiku dima wa nahnu nusabbiku wa wa nahnu nusabbiku wa hamdika wa nahnu nusab nusabbika nusabbiku bi hamdika wa nuqaddis lak. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al kareem and may Allah forgive me for any mistakes in that ayah what means and the, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us the discussion that he had subhanahu wa ta'ala as a creator of the heavens and earth with the angels he said verily I'm going to establish on the earth a khalifa you know a vicegerent someone to make judgments and someone to have rulership and make judgments about affairs in this life and that will have success successors after him taking that role of leadership and the angels they said we call you a tajalu fiha may may you may you fiha they said are you going to put on the earth those who will cause corruption or spread corruption and we meaning the angels that we pray we glorify you and praise you all the time non-stop and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said 
that verily you, uh, verily I know that which you don't know. So letting us know that even though the angels have perfect obedience to Allah, that Allah favored us to be on this earth and to supplicate to Him, even though we make sins and we have mistakes and that we cause wickedness in the earth. Since the beginning of mankind, the dawn of mankind, the children of Adam, alayhi salatu wasalam, who is the father of all of mankind, has caused wars, has enslaved one another, has abused one another and tortured one another in every way possible, with racism, with hatred, and all the other ills that plague the world community. Up until this day, that hatred exists and will continue to exist in this life. So, ayu ala habba, we all make mistakes, but as the Prophet wasallam said, Kulu ibn Adam khatta wa khayran khatayina tawabun, that all the children of Adam, they make mistakes, and the best of those who make those mistakes or sin is those who make tawbah and repentance. That we can still supplicate to Allah alone. We can still repent to Allah alone. And those are all acts of incredibly important uh, worship. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of the Tawabin wa Mutatahirin. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.